he went under but he's gonna be there for a long time because you know where else is he gonna go all right what's up youtube we're here fishing today in this secret honey hole and my buddy here today carlos huh yeah. so far what have we encountered carlos in this pond a prehistoric animal and there you go right there in his natural habitat he's probably like three four foot long i wouldn't say past five but heck we're here to fish that's ourselves today the loose combos and we're gonna start today with the uh american hero so the minute we hook on a bass like i said just reel and don't mind him he won't bother you as long as we don't let it get our it's uh 12 and i believe 88 the temperature is rising to 90 highest 91 or so but who cares we're out here having a good time the gators they're chilling i was gonna throw a whopper popper or a frog but not no more carlos you see that oh, in the distance that's a big catfish right there where you threw your your shot to your right i don't know if you saw the fin it looked big it did carlos what if he had been here this whole time But we never saw it because, you know, we only been here like later in the evenings or it, it maybe just recently it moved in or something. Well, we're going to continue fishing. Like I said, that gator is there minding its business. Oh snap, I'm stepping on a lot of mud. My shoes are ruined. Oh well. There's a lot of mud on this right side. I do regret not bringing the boots. You need your license for that one. I think you can only hunt it legally on, in the month of September. I see bluegill swimming. Looks like we got our first fish of the day. Keep our distance from the gator. Gator is just minding his business in the distance. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Let me back up. Wow, he choked it. Wow. Got ourselves the first bass. Choked it. Healthy bass. Long body. All right, let's get the shot out of the way before this gator surprises me. Keep my... Yeah. Carlos, uh, can you keep your eyes... Um, 
in the lookout for me? Like, tell me how how close he is. So I'm distracted with the with the. All right, he's coming in. I know that's a fact. It's because the bass made a lot of sound. All right, looks like we got the shad out. Shad for the win. All right, let's check out the weight. One pound and eight ounces. All right. Carlos, we got a problem. The bass is not moving. He's in the water right now. So I threw the bass in the water and he's not moving. And we got this gator over there. I should have just thrown it to my left. He's gonna have to revive himself because this gator is like right there looking at us. Right. <clears throat> He's gonna have to like figure it out quick cause I don't want him dying and everything. Gator move, but he's probably gonna be here. So he disappeared, but he'll be back. No, I'm not gonna do anything. Cause if I do anything, what has gonna happen is the the gator's gonna pop. All right, we'll just continue fishing. Let the bass figure it out. They're deep, Carlos. Let your shad fall all the way down. They're deep for sure. There he is. There he is. He's over there. I thought he was in front of me. Unless it's a second one. Why is the bass not going deep? I think I stunned it, Carlos. What do you think? Do you think I stunned it? There he goes. He's gone. Uh, around uh, one o'clock, we call it quits because it's going to be like high 91. You think you can handle it to one or, or, or 12? Hey, why not? 130. I mean, I can handle this heat because, you know. Yeah, I'm like All right. Because I haven't cut the video. We're still trying to catch more bass in this Texas heat. 
Remember last year, Carlos, when it was like high 95, 96, and we were out there? Hey, yeah, do you, do you, know, do you think they might, they might be koi fishing here? Koi fish? Yeah. Why, you saw something orange? Yeah. Maybe. Or it might not be koi, it might be a goldfish. Who knows? Goldfish. Or maybe it's a carp. It might be a carp. Mm. Carlos, well, it's because you're standing on the mud. What do you expect? All right, we're going to switch it. So, Guggen baits are not working this year. That's why I decided to make the switch. I've been using uh, Six Sense and Strike King. Believe it or not, this is the sauce right now for bowfin and largemouth bass. And heck, why might not, we might as well include catfish. I've caught catfish on the green pumpkin. Coffee scent and salt. Got a Texas rig right here. We're simply just gonna put it at least right there gator still having a blast watching this fish nah I don't know no idea Orange and blue. It looks like a pumpkin seed. Orange and blue, Carlos. Would you want to do? You know, we could buy the mold for it. From Amazon. Yeah. And they have the, uh, you know, the plastic that you that you melt. Yeah. So. Where you're stepping there, it's mud and water, right? You know what we need? A lawn lawn mower machine. Look, he's getting closer. Don't think I don't see you. I see you. If you start making noise in the water, he'll come right in front of you. It's not that big. Wow, the birds are making a lot of noise today and the crickets. Right, Carlos? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs>
All right, let's go see what this spot holds. I really want to go over here, but I don't know. There's a lot of mud. There's a way, there's a way. All right, Carlos, looks like you can't come on this side. Oh, we can't get on that far end. Lots of water. So this is the other side of the pond. Looks like we can't get on that corner. There's a lot of bass over there. And he's getting closer, as you can see. He's getting closer. <clears throat> Carlos, there's a lot of bass over here in shallow. My goodness. I can see them swimming. It's crazy. Yeah? How much fishing are we talking? Where'd you go? He's on your left. He, you know he's following us. He's just circling around. There he is, told you. That's what alligators do when they see people. They're very curious. Oh, jackpot right there. Looks like I got a, a lily pad. Yeah. And I scared the fish. Damn. Oh well. Did you bring. Time, time to go. The shad that I was using on my blue rod works. Did you bring any of those? I don't know. Yeah. Time to go, Natalie. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's really to us. He's not gonna do anything. It's because when you brought your shad to the edge and you made noise on the edge of the water, and that's all it's attracted to. It's attracted to the the uh, the movement. I'm trying to hook a bass, and each time that I'm it's, I'm gonna be, you know, bringing it towards the edge, it's gonna follow us. So when you hook one, just you know, real fast, don't give it time. It won't be able to catch up. I know they're fast swimmers and all, but. Not today, Not today. See, as you're making noise, he's coming. Cause you kept making noise with your, with your uh, crank. What you expect, Carlos? All right, time to move because Gator keeps coming closer. He doesn't want to let us fish in peace.
You need it real fast right now because he disappeared. I don't know where he's at. You're right, someone did come here with braided line. My goodness, they don't know how to fish. Oh, that's my whole spool. That's crazy. All right, we're switching back to the shad because it looks like this worm idea is not going to work. Oh, it's that bad? Wow. Yep, the bass are deep, Carlos. There's a big guy on your right. <laughs> or a frog. Don't even try it. 
Unless you want to have an episode where your rod breaks. And it will break. Because my ugly stick two-piece rod, or actually it was a one-piece, it didn't break. But he pulled drag at Lake Houston. And by the way, we're not even in Lake Houston, in case y'all were wondering, location-wise. I don't give out spots. Used to. This is how my camera was facing down. Oh wow. I hear that, the sound of frogs. I really wanted to use top water, but we got a gator in this pond. Looks like we got ourselves a crappy. Wow, nice crappy. Nice crappy. Wow. Not bad, right? And it's got a belly too, wow. Looks like, yeah. So this is the whole pond, gator's still right there. And looks like the fish are way, way in the middle. Like, probably center middle. Thank, thank y'all for watching. About to continue fishing and enjoy this gator as he's strolling in this pond. See y'all later.